I've never seen the devil in his eyes like that. I want you to be able to see the bruises on my neck. I tried to calm him down. Baby, don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. It's only $600. Don't worry about it. Swanberg County Sheriff says a father was so furious at the government for keeping his $600 stimulus check to pay back child support that he did something very bad. He's now behind bars after the sheriff says he beat his girlfriend to the point she had to be hospitalized. Today, deputies spoke about a suspect arrested for three counts of arson and attempted murder after having to give up his stimulus check to pay for child support. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you all with another video. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My weekend was very good and my week is going awesome. Big shout out to all the channel members and all subscribers of the Trey Keen Show family. Much love to each and every one of you all. Now, around this time of the year, you know, due to the fact that we had this COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, you know, the government been releasing stimulus checks here and there. Some people get them, some people don't. Depends on how much you make or if you file taxes or what not. I don't know the whole loopholes about it. Some of y'all can explain it to me in the comment section how you get them. But some people have not been getting them because they owe back child support. And also, one thing I do not like is people who do not take care of their children, whether it's a man or a damn woman. And also, you have quite a few bloggers, male and female, but more males on YouTube who be trying to give life advice and uh, talk about certain situations, even talk about uh, women, if you know what I mean, and old child support out the ass. So I'm like wondering, how in the hell do you listen to people? Well, how do you give advice when you sit up here and you're a deadbeat dad and a deadbeat mom, but how do you give advice on YouTube? I don't understand them. Anyway, maybe y'all can let me know. But we have a story, you all. Yes, we have a story out of South Carolina by way of Spartanburg. Big shout out to everybody in the great state of South Carolina, everybody in the great city of Spartanburg. Now, when I first heard this story, I was like, well, damn. The real crime is not the fact that this guy owed back child support, but the fact that he needed $600 damn dollars. I'm like, can anybody in this town of Spartanburg give this guy Ray Michael Bradford Jr. and Sr.? I'm so sorry. Can somebody please get Ray Michael? A couple damn dollars because evidently he needed the money more than me and you put together. But anyway, now what Wade Bradford decided to do was very stupid. Number one, due to the fact that the government garnished his stimulus check because he owed child support, he decided to put the paws, take it out on his wife, basically put his foot all up in that woman's ass. And also, I heard she's in the hospital, so let's please keep her in our prayers also. I'm not trying to be funny, but just the way I talk sometimes. But one thing about it, you do not deserve to get beat up and damn near killed. Your house set on fire, your car set on fire, he goes to set your mama car on fire, and also threaten to kill your kids. Now, if somebody doing all that, chances are you don't need to fool with this damn bastard. But this is what happened when you mess with these crazy ass men. But all day I gotta say, look at that face. Just look at that face right there. Mm. Don't you feel that man pain? Can somebody please? Send him six hundred dollars so he can get him some commissary because what I heard the judge denied his bond Thursday. He's not gonna be coming home. But anyway, I'm not gonna tear it too long with the story. I'm gonna dive a little deeper into it so we can see what's really going on in the mind of Ray Michael Bradford. That's probably why he pissed off because he got damn two first names, Ray and a Michael. But anyway, I'm gonna read a quick snippet from this story. And I'm gonna give my opinion. All of it. Surely. As we go, South Carolina man attacks girlfriend, sets fire over losing what stimulus check to pay back child support, says police, not Trey King. I'm just a messenger. Don't get mad at me. Anyway, this story is out of Spartanburg. Every time I hear Spartanburg, what I think about Sparta, you know what I'm saying? 300 kicking the hell out of somebody into a pit. Anyway, a South Carolina man is in custody for allegedly twice attacking his girlfriend and setting several fires. Because he was angry, his $600 stimulus check was taken by who? The damn government to pay back child support. Now, you ought to think one ass whooping is enough, but two is just outrageous. Now, what happened is that after she first got the pause put on the first time, she left, you know what I'm saying, ran to the neighbor house or whatnot. He called back up with her, whooped her ass some damn more. I mean, that's a crying damn shame. Have you ever had somebody to whoop your butt one time? Then catch up with you again, then whoop your ass again. Oh man, I just have to go and give up the ghost. I have to go see Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I have to take it to the Lord in prayer. Anyway, at a news conference Friday, Spartanburg County Sheriff Chuck White, not Chuck Norris, said that Ray Michael Bradford Jr., 36 years old. Hold on. 36 years old, you sure? They can't be no 36. Y'all, they can't be no damn 36 right there. I don't care what nobody say. 36 years old, Blagaria bit. 
a rough and tough. I will put the pause on you. Can somebody please give me a dollar? Mama, why you made me so ugly? 56 in the face. Oh, Spartanburg has been charged with attempted murder, three counts of arson, and malicious destruction of what? Property. Now, Wright said Brown's victim was treated at Spartanburg Medical Center for multiple injuries to her face, head, neck, and body, and her back. She was beaten very badly, said Wright. She may have to have surgery to fix a broken nose and a broken jaw. And thank God, mm, mm, mm. thank God, all the fights I done had. Yes, I done had a lot of damn fights in my life, but look at me. You can't tell your boy done been in one, huh? But guess what? But guess what? I done got my ass whooped a couple times. The main one was by an old man, you know what I'm saying? Most, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I only got one ass whooped, and that was by that old man at the gas station. I'll tell you all about that one damn day, because it's really my bad. But anyway, let's go and finish up. Now, the victim told deputies her boyfriend started attacking her at their home. She said she was hit with a lamp and table leg and slammed to the floor repeatedly, said right. Now, I don't know if you ever been hit with a lamp or not, because I know I used to have all kinds of fights with me and my exes and whatnot. Them helpers was crazy. I guess that's what you get for having good diggling. But anyway, now, I don't know how in the hell did he go pick up a lamp, but we'll give him that. But how the hell you pick up a table leg? You know what I'm saying? It's one of them cheap-ass table legs that you screw on there. It ain't the expensive can that you get at the nice furniture store where you got to screw in there with a certain kind of screwdriver. So it must be one of them little cheap dollar store or Fred's, you know what I'm saying, table legs that you just screw in there or whatnot. I don't know, baby, somebody can tell me, but how in the hell he take a damn table leg off? I mean, after he hit me with the damn lamp, I would have hauled ass right down then, you know what I'm saying, unless he had a table leg in the left hand and a lamp in the right hand. Anyway, she got hit with a table leg, a lamp, and was slammed to the floor repeatedly, said right. That's too many damn times, no wonder she all broken up. Now, Sheriff's Office spokesman, Lieutenant Kevin, who? Bobo, no kin of Bobo Baggins off of Lord of the Rings. Say in a statement, the victim was able to leave her home in run tar Cleveland Park, but Bradford gave chase and caught up quick and assaulted her again, dragging her to a pun. How in the hell did he drag her outside in the damn pun? Nobody even came to help. I mean, damn, is this a damn ongoing occurrence or whatnot? But look at Michael Ray Bradford. I mean, shit, if I would have seen I probably just closed my curtains and just said, look, I don't know what's going on over there. I probably would have played it on my damn second. That's a damn... Mean looking bastard right there. I'm talking about Michael. Anyway, now Bobo said she was able to get free again and ran toward another neighbor home who did call 911, he said. So you mean to tell me the first neighbor didn't call 911? I mean, shit, you'd think the police would have came right then. And what the hell are the nosy neighbors when you need them? Anyway, after the assault, deputy said Bradford allegedly set several fires, one to their home, and at least to two vehicles. He was captured and holding a bottle filled with gasoline after he was seen walking down Highway 221, and my people in Spartanburg, you know exactly what that said. You probably traveled down it today or right now. Said who? Kevin Bobo. Now, he decided he was mad because he didn't get his $600 to go spend however he wanted to, said the girlfriend. It's a crying damn shame. All this, all this over a damn couple hundred dollars. I mean, can somebody please? Give Michael Ray Bradford some damn money. And see, what I want to say right now, the real victim in this story is not the children who didn't get the child support, not the children who don't have their daddy spending time with them, not the children who don't have their father teaching them, you know what I'm saying, and guiding them along the way. And the other victim is not the girlfriend who got her ass well, but the real victim here is Michael Ray Bradford. Bradford is the real victim here because evidently he needed that $600 more than the girlfriend more than the damn children. So can please somebody find out Michael Ray Bradford jailhouse address or whatnot and let's try to send this man some Zuzus and Wham That means some commissary. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great day. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. I'm out.